Hey everybody, I'm Chris with at Gallagher's Homestead and I would like to take you a walk around today to show you what all we got going on and how we're doing it. Um, we appreciate the ones who have subscribed already and we thank y'all for subscribing and watching our videos. Um, I do some cooking videos and different things. Uh, I'd like to get into composting and maybe some um, hydroponics in the next year or two. Um, but today we're just going to walk around and look at how I'm doing my urban gardening in the trailer park. Since I don't have a lot of room to plow a big old field and grow anything. So let's take a walk around look at what's going on. Okay everybody we're here with the sweet potatoes. This is the first year that I've grown them so it's they are really doing well. Very very well. Um, I planted regular potatoes next to them, but as you can see that the sweet potato vines are spreading They're even coming out into the yard try to keep them going one direction, but I didn't know nothing about sweet potatoes So they're really taking off and spreading more than what I knew um, Over to the left we got us a Japanese eggplant and as you can see right there There's one that's ready to to come off of it so next next year when i plant sweet potatoes i'm most definitely going to give these guys a lot of space to grow and do what they got to do um just off to the right of the potatoes i have a zucchini and two squash plants and a a uh, spaghetti squash <clears throat> now i use these tomato racks wires to hold the tomatoes up um i turn them upside down and i put them on my my uh zucchini and squash um i read on a blog somewhere that you could train your leaves to go to grow up and it will save space since squash and zucchini likes to they grow out they like to uh take up a lot of space with their their leaves um, you could train them to grow up inside the the uh, tomato cages and it'll save you room in your garden for other things and plus you won't have no hidden hidden fruit uh, vegetables on there that got too big and just way too hard to eat now um, because it, it grew too big um, but it allows you to be able to see everything I thought it was pretty cool so I gave it a try uh, the spaghetti the spaghetti squash now he is uh, doing pretty good he's also spreading out pretty big you can see right there he's coming out away from the main main body there pretty far and back there I got some uh, okra they don't look like they're doing too awfully well um, I may just let them just die off and let the bugs get to them or whatnot and plant something else there for a late fall harvest now that's this end of the trailer let's go around to the other end and the side of the trailer and see what we got all right now we're on the front side of the trailer as you can see down here we've got this melon plant that i've been trying to it looks like a melon maybe a melon of some sort it was a volunteer it just showed up after i I planted my beans over here and I planted uh, my cucumbers there and I figured if as long as it don't mess with my cucumbers and choke out them and my beans I'm just gonna let it grow and see what it what it produces um, I also got some volunteer squash plants coming up in the back behind my beans um, they have decided to come up just kind of wherever versus where where I planted them at so I'm just letting them do their thing and these beans should be about a couple more months should be fully bloomed out and ready to harvest I also got my tomato plants over here they're doing real good um, I had six of those out um, as like I said I like flowers I think flowers are pretty but I would rather have something I can eat and, and provide my family with. So I took the flower beds around the trailer and turned them into garden beds. 
Um, but that's my t tomatoes. I got this little guy a while back at the first of the season. It's a Juliet tomato plant. And you can see it's got some stuff on it ready to come off. Um, so I picked up a few off the ground. We had storms the past couple of days, so it's not, stuff ain't been weeded and nothing, so we're out to tend to everything. Now we're up here in the front. I took some old drawers and used them as raised beds. I still got three more to finish, but I got my, some pepper plants here. Uh, I think they're Tabasco and the other ones are, let's see, Tabasco and Dragon Cayenne over here. And then I've got some uh, regular sweet banana there and some uh, bush beans. And over here for the first time I'm growing chili uh, hot peppers. So I thought that was neat. Um, I don't do a lot of spicy food a whole lot. I, mean, I like spicy food, but a lot of these peppers are probably be given away to people who can eat them a lot all the time. Um, so that's this end of the trailer. And let's go see what's on the porch and pots and stuff. And we'll come right back. All right, everybody. Well, now we're on the porch. I tried doing a uh, potato in a bucket this year, a five-gallon bucket. It looks like it's very, very healthy and doing real good. I'm um, also got some other stuff on the table. There's a uh, another eggplant. It's a, a black beauty, and I'm really proud of my uh, asparagus. It looks like it's doing really, really good in in the container. Now I did put some Epsom salt on my peppers and all my stuff that's planted in the ground, and it seems like it, that it helped out a lot. Um, here is our Brussels sprout that we rooted from one out of the store. And it looks like it's doing real good. And it's getting these little, these little tiny uh, baby looking Brussels sprouts on them. So I hope that's a positive sign on them. I've got some pepper plants that I need to get out into the ground or into a bigger pot. I just put these jalapeno peppers in in this pot the other day after when one of the storms stopped. Um, also over here, I've got my um, kale that, that's grown in the tower and it's not doing, between the storms and the sun, it's really not doing too great. It was there for a little while, but now it's not. As you can see that some of it's, you know, wilting off. It's I think it's getting way too much sun as far as in the heat of the day um, as you can see too like we talked about before even with all the storms you can see the dryness of this section right here not having no water in it at all so we were most definitely going to have to do an update video on it and um, for next season and showing what I what I did and change to correct that part right there Okay, everybody, um, one last thing before we actually sign off for this video. I got these from the dump today. Took my trash off, and they were sitting on top of the compactor. Somebody just set them out and asked them what they were going to do with them. They said nothing. If I wanted them, to take them. So that's a pretty good thing for me. These are some uh, sweet potatoes that I picked up today. Um, I am going to have to play around with them the ones the slips that do have roots on them I may just go ahead and clip those off and go ahead and get them in the ground I don't know if planting in July has you know if that's too late for the sweet potatoes but we're gonna give it a shot I've already got more than enough as you can see out there hopefully the Lord blesses me with a good harvest with those but this are just this is bonus um, but I am going to have to work with these um, down here they put them in this pan and down here in the bottom as you can see all the roots and everything is all grown together so I am going to have to work with these pull off the dead stuff but I thought it was interesting you know somebody just let them out there and I was blessed to be able to get them 
All right, well now we're back in the house. I just showed you the uh, sweet potatoes I picked up today, which I was very blessed with those. Uh, they just need some TLC and be put in the ground. <clears throat> I think they should do very, very well. Um, again, thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. And um, hopefully there'll be more videos to come. Y'all have a good day and God bless.